In this video, you'll learn how to properly operate your Graco electric airless sprayer pump when applying Hilti's Fire Stop, Smoke, and Acoustic Joint Sprays. We've divided the video into these categories. Hilti offers two Graco pumps. We'll be demonstrating with the Ultramax 2695 electric sprayer. The pump comes equipped as you see here. As with any power tool, you must ensure you are prepared with the appropriate safety gear prior to using an airless pump. This includes long sleeve shirts, pants, approved eye protection and rubber gloves. Make sure to read the sprayer's operator's manual before using the sprayer. And follow the installation instructions and MSDS for the material you are spraying. If not assembled, put together the hose, spray gun and tip guard. Connect the main feed hose to the spray pump and then connect the other end, containing the three-foot whip hose, to the spray gun. Tighten all connections to eliminate leakage. Remove the tip guard for the priming process. Make sure to keep the tip pointed away from all personnel while the tip guard is removed. Fill the throat packing nut assembly with TSL lubricant to prevent premature wear to the system. You should do this after each spray session. Now you're ready to plug in the sprayer. Only use a properly grounded receptacle. And if you're using an extension cord, it must have the ground prong intact. Ensure the sprayer is properly grounded prior to usage. To relieve any pressure in the system, turn the pressure control knob all the way around counterclockwise. Then turn off the power switch. Point the spray gun into a metal pail and pull the trigger to release pressure. Once relieved, place the prime tube in the empty bucket and turn the prime valve to the vertical open position. This will ensure the airless spray pump is depressurized. To prime the airless spray pump, place the large silver siphon tube into the Hilti Fire Stop or Acoustic Spray you will use. Place the smaller prime tube into a separate bucket to ensure the sprayer is purged of cleaning solution and fully primed. Turn the pressure control to the slowest setting. Power on the unit and slowly increase the pressure to half. This starts the pump motor. Let it run for 15 seconds to allow for circulation through the prime tube. Once there is no air visibly returning to the bucket, you can turn down the pressure and turn the prime valve to the horizontal closed position. Then turn off the spray gun safety switch. Complete the process by increasing the pressure to half to start the pump motor. Point the spray gun into an empty metal pail, but keep contact between the pail and gun. This prevents static electricity from building up. Pull the trigger and let Hilti's product spray freely for 20 seconds without dilution. Do not spray the material into the pail of Hilti joint or acoustic product, because there may be contaminants in the sprayer. Complete the setup process for the tip assembly by attaching the metal seal gasket to the LTX tip. Insert into the tip guard. Reinstall the tip and tip guard onto the spray gun. Now we're ready to work. Select the appropriate spray tip based on Hilti's application requirements for coverage and depth. You can find these specifications in Hilti's product data sheets, in UL or other approved third-party tested systems. Here are some examples. It's easy to figure out which tip. Just use the name associated with spray pattern and coverage. These estimations are based on a 12-inch distance from the surface. With the airless spray pump fully primed and pressurized, spray a test pattern to confirm optimal depth, coverage, and pattern quality. Increase the pressure to eliminate heavy edges or streaming. Use a smaller spray tip if the pressure adjustment does not eliminate heavy edges. Hold the spray gun 10 to 12 inches from the surface and pull the trigger to apply. Use a back and forth motion to ensure proper overlap and product depth. If the spray tip becomes clogged, release the trigger and turn on the safety. Rotate the tip and point the gun into an empty bucket. Release the safety and pull the trigger to clear the clog. 
Once cleared, put the safety on and rotate the tip back to its original position and begin spraying once again. Once you're done for the day, it's important to clean your airless sprayer before storage. The process is exactly the same for both water-based and silicone-based Hilti products. However, there are different cleaning solutions for each. Here are the guidelines. For water-based products, use warm water with a light soap detergent. Prepare 8 gallons. For silicone-based products, make sure you have 1 gallon of mineral spirits. Turn the power off and release the pressure as shown in the first part of this video. Remove the siphon tube from the product and place it in flushing fluid. Remove the tip guard. When using solvents, remember to use a metal pail and maintain contact between the bucket and spray gun to reduce static buildup. Turn the power on and ensure the prime valve is in the horizontal closed position. Point the spray gun into an empty pail, increase the pressure to half, hold the bucket and pull the trigger to purge system. If using a water-based Hilti product, send four gallons of the soapy water solution through the system. The last four gallons of fresh water should be recirculated through the system for a minimum of four minutes. Simply spray the water solution back into the main source pail, where the water and detergent are coming from. Reinstall the tip guard with the spray tip installed. Immerse the spray gun into a pail below the fluid surface and pull the trigger to cycle the flushing fluid through the spray tip. When flushing, always ensure that the sprayers is properly grounded. You use a metal flush pail and maintain contact between the gun and the metal pail. You must also clean the prime tube. This process is the same for all Hilti products. To clean the prime tube, Turn the prime valve to the vertical open position and allow the flushing fluid to circulate through the prime tube for 15 seconds. Raise the siphon tube above the flushing fluid pail and run the airless sprayer pump for 15 seconds to drain the remaining flushing fluid from the system. Point the spray gun into an empty pail and pull the trigger to drain the remaining fluid from the hose. Depressurize the system as described earlier. Turn the power off. Open the prime valve and unplug the airless spray pump.